Hi, and welcome back to Wicked Wands Tarot. My name is Carmen, and today we're going to do a reading for Pisces. Let's call in spirit with some moonshine time. I hope you're having a wonderful day so far, Pisces. We're going to start... I'm actually drawn to the Situations card, so we'll use that today. This one just fell out. Waves, motions, but in the reverse, so... I don't know, maybe somebody is getting a little bit more control over their emotions. All right, then we have the Bounty Hunter. Somebody is chasing perhaps their love interest, perhaps their twin flame, but it's a hot pursuit. Somebody doesn't want to sit around and twiddle their thumbs anymore. Perhaps they're twin flame? I guess so. Well, grab the popcorn. Alright, what else do we have for Pisces? So, somebody ghosted or put a pretty sharp end to a situation, perhaps because they viewed it as forbidden love, but there's a different perspective they have on this emotion or this person than they previously had. Ghosted. This person wants to reach out. It's like they see the error of their ways now and that they were maybe not seeing somebody for their true value or they were believing gossip that they shouldn't have believed. What else for Pisces, please? And we have interview kind of coming out sideways, and I don't know if you saw me like kind of struggling to grab it, but it's like somebody's trying to avoid this conversation. I'm gonna put it in the reverse. It's like they're getting a slap on the wrist from the universe for trying so hard to avoid something they know they need to do. We're going to get some additional clarity here for you with the whoops. The Morgan Greer. I always forget the last half of that. What else do we have for Pisces, please? The Eight of Cups. Well, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, this individual who didn't give to this situation the way they should have, or perhaps the way they wanted to, was a little upset to see this person walk away from them and now it's made them want to follow. So we have the Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. Someone invested quite a lot and didn't really get anything to show for it. But it also feels to me like this individual who walked away was able to recover rather quickly. They have processed the pain they felt or transmuted it and let go of the codependency or fear of rejection, whatever was maybe an issue for them in the past. We have the Page of Rods. This is the Page of Wands, and it feels to me like there's some sort of congratulations or like a major change in somebody's life that's going to present an opportunity to have a conversation here between these two individuals. And somebody is really like hemming and hawing or trying to decide if this is the right moment. Not sure if this will work is kind of what I'm hearing.
So the Eight of Cups and the Six of Pentacles are clarified by the Page of Pentacles in the reverse and the Knight of Cups in the reverse. There was somebody who was unwilling to invest or share their actual emotions in this situation. So this could be one of those where we have somebody that didn't want to uh, admit they wanted to be more than friends. And they weren't sure if they were ready for a different approach to their lifestyle. So this new beginning was rejected. And they waited for the other person to come back. They waited for the other person to communicate. They may still be waiting for the other person to communicate or still be waiting for the other person to make some sort of move towards them. They may wait a long time. Page of, page of rods to king of rods. I was just saying they may wait a long time. That's literally page to the king, the lowest to the highest. Like, this has not been a two-week ordeal. This has been a long ordeal. And now they're looking back at the errors of their ways in terms of waiting instead of taking action. they know there was something of value that they missed. It's like in a video game when you fail to pick up some like bonus or whatever as you progress through a level. It's because they didn't see what they were leaving behind. I increase this in the reverse. This is somebody who may be a little bit more known for their creativity or their wisdom or their honesty that kind of thing versus their intuition or their gut feeling. They're not very evocative of emotions, but it's like on purpose. We have the Ten of Wands in the reverse. This person viewed relationships as an unnecessary burden. And may have even been pretty vocal or honest about not being interested in higher level commitments. Just wanting to maybe do the like one night stand or fling kind of thing. But they were sitting here trying to manifest this feminine energy back with the Magician coming out under Eight of Wands. They wanted to get her to communicate with him because she's over here looking like a snack and doing well on her own, not, you know, sitting in a corner weeping somewhere. There may be people that are expressing interest in her, motivating this King of Rods to reconsider his course of action or his approach. All right, we're gonna clarify with the tarot familiars. This is resonating for you. Go ahead and give me a like or a subscribe. So we have the Eight of Swords in the reverse. Somebody now sees what they missed before. Somebody has either witnessed something or been advised something, but they know now what they didn't see before. Knight of Swords, it looks like somebody told them information. And it made them feel foolish. Death. Look at that beautiful kitty. Death is one of my favorite cards. Even though people are scared of it, it often speaks of transformation. The truth of this situation has pushed this person to change. Nine of Swords in the reverse.
they're no longer letting a fear of rejection put them in a situation where they're unwilling to be themselves. They know they've effectively kind of built their own prison by refusing to like speak their truth. And there's healing that they have been able to achieve or that they are working on currently. But it also feels to me like they're focused on somebody. Like they want to heal, but they're also really thinking about somebody in particular. Especially at night. They're thinking about somebody that they were friends with, that they had good times with, that they did not choose. They want to apologize for the rejection. They may be getting counsel from friends or a close friend to apologize. And move things to smoother waters or transform the nature of this connection. They may give a gift and apologize for how they treated you. But they're worried you've healed so much that you might reject them. They need to demonstrate in some way that they have been working on themselves and they don't feel like words would suffice in that situation. For some of you, this person feels like you've put a spell on them. I don't really think you have, but the King of Cups owl is sitting on top of a book called Potions and the other one is called Spells. <clears throat> and I'm like hearing love potion number nine. Because there's, there's been a pretty drastic change in this person because of you and they didn't really expect that to happen. With the Knave of Swords, they're likely spying on you. You know, taking a look at your social media to see what you're up to, see if you've got somebody else in your life. All right, let's get just a couple more here from the Kipper, and then we'll call it a day. Ooh, great fortune. Somebody has blessings and abundance coming their way, so you're being encouraged to be rather selective when it comes to who you allow into your energy or your social group. Or your bed. Or your bed. So some of you, again, you might be looking at a different living situation. There's a message here that you might be doing something to have a better life for your children or you're being encouraged to do things that make you feel kind of young at heart. You're seen as somebody of high honor. All right. We're going to call it a day. I hope you enjoyed the reading and that you have a wonderful rest of your day.